their relationships with, with what their relationship with their body was like because I feel like a lot of people feel disconnected and feel like they're not good enough or like with or not uh, okay with the way they look and I wanted to see um, how those answers and how people would that, that doesn't make sense I wanted to see how people would answer and see how many people feel d disconnected with their bodies because a lot of the time I feel like that so I want to see, like, y'all feel like that too? Like, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I can wear a crop top and be like, you look nice, girl, yes. And then the other days I'm like, no, nah, I'm straight. I'm put these high-waisted pants on, put me a hoodie on, and just cover up. But, like, I guess it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. I'm learning how to love my body and, you know, just giving it time because I'm still, you're still growing. So. Um... I feel very disconnected with my body, if that makes sense. Like it was never really, it was never really like a large factor in my life. But now, at my this point in my life, I feel like my masculinity is something that's very important to me, and I try to hold on to that. Honestly, I realized that a lot of folks were just hating because, on a petty note. I've never been called ugly by somebody that was pretty. So I just had to realize, you know, maybe maybe the source, maybe I shouldn't be trusting the source like that. What makes me feel confident? Um, my family and friends, you know, when they hype you up, me looking to a mirror, talking to myself, saying I'm this, I'm that, that's what makes me confident and knowing what you like. They weren't bullying me over the things that I probably should have got bullied for. <laughs> like, like in middle school, the hair was just bad. So no one was talking about my hair though, which they should have, because maybe I would have corrected that. But here I was over here thinking there was something wrong with my complexion and there wasn't, <laughs> so. At all stages, we are taught to want to be beautiful. We're sold the idea of beauty and we're sold that uh, we can buy, buy beauty. Social media is like, it's such a love-hate relationship for everybody. It's like, it's so toxic, but like, nobody's gonna delete Instagram. Nobody's gonna delete Snapchat because we wanna know what's going on. And it's just like, who are they? We're all different. Like I said, like, you can decide if somebody's always gonna hate on you. Somebody's hating on the Instagram model that you think is like, the most gorgeous girl in the world. Somebody's always gonna have something negative to say, so it's just like, you wanna compare yourself to them, but like, who are they to be compared to? But then there's that second thought in your head, just like, well, you're ugly, you're fat, you know, you have this pouchy stomach, you know, you're not good enough for people to see you through every day. You're not good enough for yourself. And sometimes those thoughts in my head just goes over me, over my body. It makes me feel so bad about myself and I lose self-esteem throughout the whole day. Um, my standard of beauty is that every th every every single living being on this planet can be beautiful. Um, beauty comes from within and it exudes outwards. Um, my personal standard is just in the way that I carry myself. Um, and if I carry myself in the way that I feel that is Amanda, that makes me feel beautiful. Um, and it's really about how how much do you want to love yourself and do you feel like you're worthy of that love and can you look at yourself and feel that you are worthy enough to be called beautiful and I really feel like that's something that you can't be taught and that's something that you really have to you know kind of unlearn and teach yourself that's that about that I had like a lot of self-esteem issues growing up because like I was bullied and like mental illness and all that stuff so body image was like a difficult thing so I don't remember exactly like what I did to start thinking that like I was beautiful and things like that I think it was just a lot of telling myself that in the mirror and just like that repetitiveness it you know you say it so many times you start to believe it so I just started changing the way I talk to myself because like if you're not gonna talk to yourself nice who else is gonna talk to you nice you know 
so before the project I was insecure um, not very confident in myself I feel like I've never been like that I mean I'm confident in like my work and like film and stuff but like as a person no I guess that's kind of bad <laughs> um and after I feel a little bit more secure in myself because I know other people feel the same way so it's like um, a community of us who don't feel that good about ourselves and we can like uplift each other I really just rely on creating stuff I'm about to cry But yeah, I just really rely on creating stuff. Um, cause I know somebody is gonna feel something. So yeah. Take whatever you feel from this film and use it to, I don't know, create your own documentary or yeah, be the best, be the best version of yourself. I try. Oh